Welcome, preschoolers, to our gathering time. Guess what? We are starting our insect study today. Woohoo! And if you looked at your um, weekly update, you'll see the picture of our caterpillars and where they're at now. So I want to start today by talking about butterflies and caterpillars. So as you saw our caterpillars, they're almost to their chrysalis stage. What does that mean? I don't know what chrysalis means. Why don't we take a look? So this is called a life cycle, meaning where they start and where they end up, so forth and so on. So this is the life cycle of a butterfly. And they first start off as a little egg, little egg, and then when we got them, they were in this stage, which is called a larva stage or the caterpillar. That's what we call the caterpillar stage. And then they're going to turn into a pupa or a chrysalis, which is where they're molting into to turn into the butterfly. So it goes egg, larva, pupa, butterfly. Say with me, egg, larva, pupa, butterfly. So we're kind of in the middle right here with our caterpillars. Right here is kind of where we're at. So today, I want you to look at your bigger person and ask them things about insects you want to know. What do you want to know about insects? Is an insect a bug? Is a spider an insect? What about a worm? Or a centipede? Or a beetle? Are they all insects? I don't know. We'll have to find out together, right? So I'm going to play a song that I want you to um, hear, and I'm going to share my sound. Oh, well, let's try it this way. Miss Amanda clicked the wrong button, doesn't she? There we go. And I want you to hear this song. Are you ready? Here we go. It's a really good song. Blowing the sun in. Insects have an exoskeleton. They have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. Most have wings, but they all six legs they have two antenna and they lay a lot of eggs bees say bees say bees say bees say crickets say crickets say crickets say crickets say move like a bug move like a bug move like a bug like a bug now dance like a bug dance like a bug dance like a bug dance like a bug, dance like a bug. <laughs> so that was just a fun little song i wanted to share bugs have an exoskeleton a head a thorax and an abdomen most have wings and six legs that's what you call an insect. So, when you look at an insect, they always have a head, a thorax, and an abdomen, right? So if you look at a, let's say, uh, a cricket or a ladybug or a butterfly or a bee, they all have a head, a thorax, and abdomen. Can you say that with me? Head, thorax, Abdomen. Abdomen. That's right. Those are the three parts of an insect. Head, thorax, abdomen. So that's how we know what an insect is versus, say, a spider or a worm. Right? So now that we kind of have that knowledge in our head, I have a wonderful book I want to read to you today. So I'm going to share my screen once again. This time you're going to get to look at something. 
This book is also up on Miss Amanda's um, YouTube channel. So if you want to see it there, you can. I'm also going to read it here. So this is called Animal Classes Insects by Julie Mori. Insects are all around you. There are more than one million different kinds. That's a lot. Insects have been on Earth for more than 400 million years. Insects do not have a backbone. They have a hard covering. It's on the outside of their bodies. That's called the exoskeleton. An insect has three main body parts. It's head, it's thorax, and it's abdomen. This is a dragonfly. Insects have six legs and most have antennae. Most insects have wings. Honeybees fly through the air. Insects lay eggs and newly hatched insect is called a larva, which is where our caterpillars are at right now. It will grow and change into an adult. Many insects eat nectar and pollen in some plants, but praying mantises, they're carnivores, they eat other insects. Some insects are big. Titan beetles can be more than six inches long. Whoa. And some are small. So this was just a short book that I wanted to share to kind of get us started thinking about insects and bugs. So if you go on a trip today around your neighborhood or take a walk with your bigger person, look for some insects. But remember, don't touch them unless you get permission from your bigger person and we follow our safety rules. And our safety rules are this. First, we look with our eyes, right? Yeah. Then we talk to our bigger person about it because maybe they don't want us touching the bugs. And then we pick it up. Let's make sure we put it back, right? Because if we take it inside and we don't have all the proper things for it, we can harm our insect and we don't want to do that. So like the butterflies or the caterpillars we have right now, Miss Amanda has food for them and I have a net cage for them. So when they do go from their chrysalis stage into their butterfly stage, I'll have a place for them until we release them out into nature. So just remember, we always have to ask our bigger person, right, before we touch anything that we're not quite sure about. We don't know if it's poisonous or it could hurt us, right? Um, so if you go on your walks today, just look out for some insects and maybe tell Miss Amanda about them. I hope you enjoy the start of our study. I'm so excited to continue. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.